yet another DJ's Brew Tube beer review. Well, you see where I am tonight, guys. I'm back down in the dungeon again. But there's a reason I'm down under today. Why am I down under? Because I'm going to do a beer review in honor of my buddies in Australia. One of the beer reviewers I like in Australia is uh, Swill and Grog. And Swill and Grog asked me one day, he said, hey man, how about you, you do up an Australian brew one day? So I said, geez, I don't know what we got here besides Foster's and stuff. So I looked around the beer shop and I found this beer from Cooper's, which is their best extra stout. Now you guys know Cooper's, the ones who make the beer kits. Um, you've probably brewed some of their beer kits. I know I have in the past. Um, they're pretty ubiquitous that way, but their beers itself here in the States anyway, we, at least what I can find, are pretty limited. This beer was there, and I said, you know what, I like stout, so we're going to do this one up. Now, these guys are located in Leebrook, Australia, and they're an independent brewery. Like Mexico, a lot of the breweries that are in Australia, the ones of fame anyway, are owned by international conglomerates. Now, there's a subculture sort of of uh, craft brewers down there that are, that's growing and, and, you know, prospering, which is really cool. But a lot of the breweries there are owned by big conglomerates, you know, Sab Miller and those kind of guys. So, what do we got to talk about this beer? It's made with all natural ingredients and it's bottle conditioned. The date on this one says uh, best after, let's see, 2-25-2013. Uh, so it should be plenty good. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Beers like this, I'm expecting, it could, I could be wrong, some beers are like this or say like Guinness Export, Schlafly, uh, like foreign Irish foreign stout, I think it was, and I think there's another one, um, Pike, uh, XXX Street XXX uh, stout or something like that, and uh, another one is uh, Lump of Coal by Ridgeway, which is one of their Christmas brews. So this beer is 6.5% ABV and 50 IBUs, the year-round serving. So you know what? I'm gonna stop flapping my gums. And, uh, but before, wait, you know what? No, I'm not. Before I open this, I want to give my little shout-outs. Give my shout-out to Swollen Grog, shout-out to Jez, shout-out to Tiny Off Tap Brewing, and shout-out to Kez Bar. Guys, I really like all your videos. You know, we have good quid, quid pro quo. You guys are a bunch of nice fellas. So, anyways, this is a twist-off. Oh, wait, before I get into that, I forgot. I've got to do the Cooper Ritual, yes, which I believe is to spin the bottle around one time. Now, this is a twist-off cap. I don't do twist-offs. Nice hiss off the top of that bottle. Got our lovely Cooper's Crown there. Lots of smoke coming off that one. Let's get this in the Nonic here and see what we got going on, guys. Ooh, that's a pretty dark beer. Let's give this a nice pour. See what kind of head we can get on this bad boy. All right. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Nice cascading head coming up from the bottom. Super dark, chocolatey looking head on that. Really dark beer when I hold it up to the light. No lights coming through this bad boy. Real velvety looking. Almost uh, looks like a nitrous head cascading up from the bottom. Dark, dark chocolate head. Wow. Super tight bubbles. When I swirl it, uh, we're not getting really any alcohol legs to speak of, but I suspect we will get some pretty good glass lacing on this. So, let's get a nose on this bad boy, see what we got going on. Mmm, chocolate, caramel, dark fruits. Coffee. And the chocolate I'm getting sort of milk chocolate and a little bit of dark chocolate, but more to the milky side. Man, nice smelling beer. It's got that foreign extra stout. By the way, I have let this warm up to proper temperature. It feels like it's about, mm, I'd say like 52 degrees right now. That's about where I like to drink them. At least this style of stout anyway. Let's get a taste on this bad boy, see what we got going down. Well, the taste on this follows the nose pretty well. First, you get dark fruits up in the front, kind of your raisins and that sort of thing. Get a bit of caramel and chocolate, and then the aftertaste is a really strong, pronounced coffee taste. Now, I know they don't add coffee into this. It's all by malt, which I think is cool when breweries do that. That's a really tasty beer. It's got a very pronounced black coffee aftertaste, which I like because I'm a black coffee drinker. I, I I have some milk from time to time as well, but I do drink black, black coffee fairly often. And that's a that's a really tasty brew. It's well put together. Um, the only part that's letting it down a little bit, I think, is the uh, mouthfeel in this beer. It's a little thin. Let me give another touch here. The mouthfeel is a little thin. It could be a little bit heavier. The uh, Schlafly that I had 
and the Guinness Foreign Export, they have a bit more body to them than this beer. It's not a horrible thing. It's very drinkable, and you could you could really session on this bad boy. I mean, it's 6.3% ABV. It's not super strong. That's a session beer, really. But um, really tasty brew that I and that I think um, it's it's worth drinking and it's worth drinking again. Um, I don't know if I'll do because I got so many damn beers in line, but it it is a really good brew. So, what do the other guys think about it? Um, Rape beer is given a 93, and Beer Advocate's given an 87. Um, I'm going to go 88 on this. I think it's a strong B plus beer. Um, it's got the date on the bottle and all that stuff, but the mouthfeel and the real big dominance of the coffee flavor kind of like throw it off and sort of make it like one note in some ways. But um, at that said, it is a really good beer. And man, this one would be kind of cool if you put it on some oak chips or something or, you know, did something crazy with that if you got the kit for this. So it's a it's a good representator re, uh, the representator representation of the style and it's a decent brew so till the next time guys we got to talk about something important we got to talk about thinking globally we got to talk about drinking locally we got to talk about supporting the craft beer movement and helping this thing grow and just get bigger and watch my guys that i gave the shout outs to swill and grog jazz off tap brewing kesbar i'll put their information down here in the notes section Really cool Australian guys, and they give you a different perspective on beer from their part of the world. And that's one of the cool things about this, I think, that YouTube and the opportunity we have to put videos out and everything make the world small and get you acquaintances and friends with people that you have no other chance of meeting under any other circumstances. So I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thanks a million for watching. Remember to think globally, drink locally, support this craft beer movement, keep it growing. Buy some Cooper's kits, help them keep growing, help them stay independent. Until the next time, guys, thanks a million for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Rate, comment, subscribe, etc. Until then, that's a big damn down under peace out.